Hey guys, if y'all got one of these little air conditioners, little small window units, it don't have to be a higher. Uh, most of them are all made by about four companies and rebranded everything. I'm going to show you how you can do a cleanup job on these air conditioners for your seasonal cleaning. And it makes them much more efficient, drastically more efficient to do this. And what I've done is I've taken out the screws that are in, in the unit. So there's some here and here. And you'll have a few screws for your mounting rail and uh, screws here and here and here. And you just look for the ones on the outside. They're not going to be involved with something mechanical on the inside. And then of course, right up here, over here, and a few more screws here. And they're just little small sheet metal screws. All right, so what we, what we have is we have an air conditioner unit that has two lower screws that takes the cover off. Okay, that cover's gone. And then you have the screws for the chassis, but you don't have to mess with those. This is called the chassis, which is the body it sits in. And then this rest, the rest of this comes off fairly easily. So then you have this nice big sheet metal piece right here. And then you have a dirty air conditioner, which in most cases, a lot of people will just brush out or try to clean the front. And that's a quite insufficient because one of the big things is your blower. In your air conditioner, if your blower is heavily coated with dust or dirt or anything, it is not going to cool well. So if you look down in here, like in that fan has bits and pieces all over it, it loses its cooling ability. And of course, look inside there. I don't know if you can see that. You see all that filth inside of there? That is blocking the air that should be flowing out to cool, to remove the heat and blow the heat outdoors. So this air conditioner that normally runs on 505 watts full power and 390 low power, uh, the problem that you've got here with this little, I think it's a 5500, um, is that, uh, and, and, and your size don't matter on them, is that the, the dirt that's in here is your, is your big problem. It is gunked up pretty bad, and that's just two years in service. Now, one of the things is that you can ray, lift up this cover by cutting their little tape that's on it. Very careful. You just want to go into the depth of that, and you're going to lift that off. And now that's the thing you can take and clean. See how filthy that is? That's for an office out in the garage. Um, but I've seen even worse in people's houses. And then I want you to look in here. Look at this gunk, two year old air conditioner. And you see how filthy this blower is. You see that stuff embedded in that. Well, that's removing a huge amount of its efficiency. And when it does that, your air conditioner has to run much longer cycles. By removing this cover also, you can get back here and blow air and blow everything out of uh, the core in the front. So you wanna make sure that you carefully remove that foam piece and you'll see how I did it there by cutting it. And then now I'm gonna hook up air and we're gonna blow this out and show you the difference. So it's kind of an easy way to service an air conditioner and you don't need to be afraid of any of this. The thing that you have to worry most about is putting any kind of screws that might hit any of this, the, the uh, cores, the evaporator or condensers on an air conditioner because that's an immediate hole. Um, cause it to leak down. Like even if that screw was a little longer, it could hit in there. The, the idea is to be able to clean it. You see all that in there? The idea is to be able to clean it and increase its efficiency. It'll run a lot less and an air conditioner cleaned every year or so will actually probably reduce your summertime cooling by $25 uh, on average for a small one and up to $75 for a big one. So be, be very attentive to cleaning AC units. Don't pay somebody $125 to come clean your $200 air conditioner. That's ridiculous. All right, guys, now what I've done is I've got Fantastic because this is a little heavier than uh, a lot of them. Um, a lot of welding in my area. So um, taking Fantastic, we're going to be spraying and I've already sprayed it once, all the surfaces. And you'll see 
that it gets pretty much everywhere you just spray it all what you don't want to do is don't spray your electronics and don't spray inside of here but this is fully shielded back here from any moisture because if you'll notice by air conditioners they have the top usually open rain goes in they're designed to, to handle that so we're going to spray it down in here and just liquefy everything in here and then Kira's going to be bringing me some hot water so the main purpose is to spray that in there so that we can actually loosen it up and then I'm going to take the air pressure and stand back a little bit run that air in there and you're gonna see this get pretty messy and don't don't get your nozzle more than about oh now it depends on your air pressure of course but I run about 90 psi but Run that about four inches back, roughly. Can be a little messy. And then the same over here. See that bubbling up coming out? Now you'll see it splattered everywhere in here. But all the gunk is loose now. And we're going to start the process of rinsing with really nice hot water. And I'll show you this, how it's going to be cleared up. just use a good pitcher of really hot water you're just going to pour it kind of slow and you see all that dirt coming out just get it all over everything it's not going to hurt like I said the inside of these AC units they're made for to be wet they handle water just fine so down in the bottom of this, you have a drain hole, and it'll drain into the pan down here. You can see the water coming out on that side and draining. And you might have to use something to uh, clean the hole out in the bottom down there if it doesn't drain fast enough or well enough. I usually let these sit overnight after rinsing them out like this. And if they have any kind of plug up in there, I'll go ahead and clear that out. But in an air conditioner, they have a drain for condensate usually out here on the front, like this one right here, and you can angle it that direction to have it drain. And you see that nasty stuff coming out? That's what was being blown right back in your air. So I'll finish cleaning this one and reassemble it. And this gives you an idea how you can clean it. Don't be afraid of these things. They're not hard to work on. All right, so just using the same stuff, fantastic. I mix it 50-50 with hot water. And you'll see it starts to knock it loose immediately. And you're just gonna spray it down. And you can just wipe it out with a brush or rag or like I do, I just use a little air pressure to move it around and then rinse it off with hot water. All right, guys, now you're going to see, I'm going to show you real quick a before and after picture. And I want you to pay attention back here. And now take a look at it. There's a little bit of small stuff in there uh, from here and there, but about 90% of it, maybe almost 95% is gone. And it is clean. And the front coil, minus a little bit of water that's still in it, and you see it'll still a little bit of water in it, is completely clean. The interior and the blower, a little bit of dirt remaining down here in the bottom that didn't rinse out. And over here, here is our shroud. Now these shrouds are put on with just a strip of vibration resistant tape. And the way that they go in, is pretty simple 
where they just pop on, they just pop down on here and they'll have a groove, like a tongue and groove setup that they'll go on to the uh, bottom insulative cover part or styrofoam. And when you get them back on, all you need to do is just put either tape back on it if you wish. Duct tape works pretty good. Uh, aluminum tape actually works better on styrofoam. But what I do with them is I'll just put a couple of spots of just your basic household silicone. And it's easier just to put some on it in certain places. Don't put it where your motor goes through, but just put it in certain places. Put it back on and put a little weight on it and let it sit for an hour or two, and you'll be good to go. Not too bad. Clean them out, and their efficiency increases drastically. Now, let me show you what came out of back here in the back. Now, this is how the heat ex exits the uh, unit, and this is how it sends the cold into the room. Uh, in other words, absence of heat into the room. Here is what came out of this air conditioner. Mostly hard to tell. A lot of hair. Um, I think I have a cat that is, uh, she likes to sleep on top of the air conditioner and I think it, uh, I think it's got half a cat in there. So, um, give you an idea of size there of the pile. There's a putty knife. That come out of that AC unit really hampered its cooling ability. Now, yours could have pollen. If you live in pine tree country, pollen will really plug one up. And to get pollen out, here's a, a better solution. In your AC unit, you want spick and span. That right there will remove the pollen. So you're gonna saturate it very well in a water hose and you'll see that pollen and dirt come out. And what's worse is that pine tree pollen will get inside on that aluminum and stick and become acidic and actually will start eating up your aluminum. But if you'll use this about twice a year, if you've got real bad pine trees around there, um, heavy pollen content, like anywhere from central Texas all the way to Florida, this is great for cleaning it out. So there you go. It's a pretty simple procedure. Um, just be careful and if you get any moisture in here, this is not exactly a high-tech unit, even though it's got a transformer and a few relays. The computer board's in here. It's supposed to be damp service, but don't get water in it. Everything else, you can just dump buckets of hot water, or like we did, pitchers of hot water through here. And look how clean that is in comparison to that picture that I showed you. All right, man, fix it yourself. Don't pay somebody 120 bucks or 130 bucks to go and do this. You can do it. Don't be afraid. Just pay attention to where everything goes.